What it is, what it do, see double C cruise, your boy Zaddy Chunk Chunk, and then you're back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? It's a muck bang! And today I have Nicole, of course. And today we also have Darius. And today we're doing Outback! Yes, Outback! C -C -C family! Today we're doing Outback Steakhouse. We're all very famished. So we're gonna I'm get sorry. a prayer, a thumbnail, and we're gonna dive in. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's get a thumbnail. Let me show you guys this juicy stick I got here. All right. Oh, she dropped an onion. And let's dive in. <laughs> okay, this salad that they gave me looks like it's crazy, but right. should be fine. Spend. <laughs> nah, not that long of a day today. Yesterday was a long day. Yesterday was really. We went to Columbus, okay. Ohio. First time going there. Mm. Mm. The Eastern Town Center Mall is very nice. I'm going well to be so nice. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I love Columbus's mall. What you think, Nicole? I loved I it love so much. Mall. Uh, it was the Eastern Town Center. Mmm. I actually just got done editing my vlog and <laughs> it turned out good sad news what happened what most of it is music in the background so i'm gonna still post it so you guys can see what i did but you won't hear the talking parts and uh -huh. did you try to upload it with the talking no but what you should do is try to upload it with the talking and see if youtube catches it oh okay Oh, oh wow! But I, the thing is, I don't want to go back and have to re-edit. You know, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, that is true. Um, I might try it out. Mm. Those are the most bland um, mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. Mmm. Mm. This is good. For the people who are mad, yes, I'm going cave mode. Pretty mm. man. Can you give me a knife? I wasn't even with them. They picked this up by themselves, mm -hmm. and Dobbin did a good job. I got a cold the Watering the steak. Because <laughs> she, since you're going to game let me get this one. This one has stuff in the handle. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what was mm. I going to say? And I got some asparagus. Um, I definitely need to go season this mashed potato thing real quick. So they, they tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. I this have is a all fat. I have a porterhouse like steak. Uh, yeah. I have a porterhouse <laughs> steak, medium rare. So Nicole has a prime rib. I thought you were gonna say yeah, no, no. Prime rib, um, medium rare as well, with some sautéed onions on top, which is delicious. I also got a side side salad and a baked potato as well. And uh, Darius has a New York strip. Uh, medium well, mm. and um, I got uh, broccoli and asparagus. You know what they got? No, I have broccoli and green beans. You know they got rid of uh, their broccoli. Really? I That's know. shocking. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised for that they had. Um, what is it? I'm surprised that they had. Green beans, though. I mean, not green beans. A prime rib, though. Yeah, me too. That's why I, I said. Because nowhere in Texas we can find a prime rib. No. At all. So I'm surprised that they actually have prime ribs. I know. I was uh, like, oh, just you know. What? Before mm -hmm. you get on me for using salt. Mm-hmm. Because you're gonna say, why are you using salt? I don't ever use salt. The reason why I'm using salt is because I couldn't find an open. We do have other accents, but. I didn't, couldn't find another open one, so I said, I'm not trying to open one and do all that other stuff, so. Mm. Hopefully they're green beans this season well now. But this yeah, they stopped yeah. doing um. Uh, I'm really shocked about the broccoli. That's like a main thing that everybody orders. I don't know. They're Asparagus is always good though. Mm. If it's seasoned right. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How is it? Everyone cares. So, how was your guys' little trip to Best Buy? It was good. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> it was actually a 
I got my first gift from my mom. Okay. Which I'm so super excited about. Right. So right now I got, Nicole, you're completed. Okay. I got one gift per person mm -hmm. so far. Well, there's I have like things in my head that I already know I'm getting them, you know? Yeah. I am 100,000% done. And it feels very good. This is the earliest you've ever been done for a Christmas. Earliest I've ever been done. <laughs> so is it gonna happen the same way next year? Um, <laughs> I think actually being home during this time helped a lot because mm -hmm. before I was during I was at school during this time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't right. come home until the twelve. That's right. Why is that? Because the classes were still going on, or was that? Because right now I still have classes, but they're not in person, so I can come home anytime I want to. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Do you miss Jay-Z already? Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. I'm surprised. How come? I'm a family. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but, I mean. <laughs> Dang, you what? know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Nicole misses the weather. Yeah. It makes me feel bad. She said. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it does. No. Um, I definitely miss the weather more than here. 100%. Um. When do you have to be back? When do I have to be back? January or something? Mm. So probably a minute. Mmm. 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 I guess it was. I should have brought that another, another side. So I could have, uh, right, separate it. Mm hmm. Because I don't like to pour it on top. I like to dip my broccoli. I mean, not my broccoli, my steak. But just in the close person, I'm having a prime rib. I don't know how long it's been. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I've been. This doesn't look like the normal, how normal prime ribs be looking. No, like. but I can tell by the meat that it is. Mm hmm. <clears throat> very good. I'll just put some right here on the very, side. Very, very good. Um. <laughs> Way better than compared to my <laughs> so, Wendy's this morning. You went to Wendy's? Yeah. Oh, did they get that breakfast? No, I got there at 10 and I had to wait 30 minutes in the parking lot because I didn't want breakfast. I just did it on my channel. Uh -huh. um. So, um, I waited for lunch. And well, so, so. We went to McDonald's the other day because I was craving <laughs> some... Fries. I forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the park, we're in the drive thru, ordered our food, super long line, probably waited like 20, 30, 20 minutes for our food, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. We get to the paying part. Yo, know, McDonald's has two windows. And this girl's having a conversation with Darius. The way that she's talking with Darius and the way that Darius is interacting with her, I thought they knew each other. I thought this was his high school buddy. But she was like, yeah, it's been a long day today. And then Darius is like, really? Like, and just, just like just smiling at her and staring at her. And she was saying stuff and Darius would not respond. I'm just thinking, okay, it got to be his buddy because Darius was awkwardly looking at this girl. And then the girl asked, hey, do you, hey, I got a weird question. And then uh, he was like, yeah, sure, what's up? And she was like, do you want to be my friend? And then, Darius just sat there <laughs> and stared at her. And then I'm like, And I What's... swore he said, your friend. No, I didn't hear that. I did. But he sat and stared at her. And then I'm like, I nudged him. Like, what's going on? No, I looked at you. <laughs> and then you nudged me. Yeah, I'm like, well, what are you doing? I have to go ask him. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you from my perspective. So. We're um at the thing they pay, and I handed the card or whatever, and then she was like, "Yeah, it's been a really long day. It's hectic. I mean, we had just sat in the line for twenty minutes. I I'm, I can already just imagine how busy yeah. they were. Mm -hmm. You got people leaving and all that stuff. So I just kept on saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get like I understand. Like, yeah, I'm sure it is busy. Blah 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 blah. Disagreeing with what she's saying." Like, I don't know if I was just nonchalantly saying it, like dozing out. I don't know. But then, all of a sudden, she said, um, weird question. And usually, when people say that, it's followed up by, are you guys on YouTube? Or yeah, I have forgot I to seen that? Mm -hmm. um, do you guys, I, I think I watched your mom, or something like that. Whatever. So I was mm -hmm. just fully expecting that. 
And then all of a sudden she said, do you guys want to be my friend? And you know me, in every single situation, I, I literally froze. I didn't know what to do. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> answer. And it literally was probably 45 seconds. I'm just staring at her, doing this. And I said, uh, and then <laughs> I was like, and then I turned around and I looked at Dalvin, <laughs> and Dalvin nudged me on the arm like I was supposed to say something, and I said, sure. <laughs> and then she had a receipt ready, a little thing, she printed out a receipt thing. So. With all her information on it. And I said, oh. So she had to have this ready beforehand. She did. So that means she was looking for friends. She, she had a, a goal in her mind, I need to make friends today. But I guess Darius was personal enough but there was a lot of, this wasn't his first time pausing though. Darius is pausing with this girl a few times. I'm just thinking like, why are they, I'm thinking, okay, they must, this must be a thing they do. Cause I thought you guys were high school buddies. That one thing says that's the thing that people do when they, they, they pause. Mm -hmm. No, like, I, don't, I still don't get what you're saying. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, I know what you mean. Like someone says like, uh, like it's like we know like what's going on. Like tell like um uh, like the day like okay for example me and Nicole are talking to each other and I'm like the day I had Nicole said the day I had and I just look at her and we just look at each other and we just know. <laughs> no, I don't like do that. I really want to say something uh -huh. like, like uh -huh. something crazy. Yeah, that's what but I'm thinking. But you can't. Yeah, just mm. and I'm thinking you guys are just like like that, you know? Like she I really, guess yeah. she really wanted to go crazy, but she was like. <laughs> This my boss is behind me, but and I thought, you, but I couldn't see Darius because you know I'm in the passenger, Darius right. in the driver. So I'm thinking you making facial expressions and all the time. Cause I'm like, why is he awkwardly pausing? So I'm assuming you're making facial expressions. None of that. I was doing this <laughs> the whole time with a blank stare. And she said, "You guys gonna be my friend?" And I said, "Girl, what?" <laughs> I did not say to your friend. That's a, no, mm -hmm. I did not do that, Nicole. That's so funny. I, I swore because listen, I'm in the back and I can hardly hear what's going on. I just see the girl looking to the back, looking at me, then looking back at Jarius, look at me, and then look at you. And I'm trying to hear what's going on. I'm just thinking like she's trying to explain something to you. Maybe the order's wrong or whatever because four people already left the line. Mm -hmm. And I swore. You said your friend, but not like, ew, I don't want to be your friend, not like that. But just, you were so confused because you weren't I ready, for that, ready for that question. This looks like a T-ball, not a porterhouse, but. Mm. But yeah, and uh, I'm surprised she was willing to ask that because Nicole said she was staring at Nicole and Nicole's looking back at her and I just know Nicole doesn't have the nicest face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 you said Nicole doesn't have the nicest face. Um, all I know is that I literally froze. I did not know. It's, I don't know. I just thought I I had to leave room in there just in case she was joking. And, <laughs> and, and someone I guess, says, "Want to be my friend?" Just kidding. I was like, mm. like, someone says they're just like if someone said, "Want to be my friend?" Then said, "Just kidding." They're like really hurt inside, like. Right. You know, like like they really do mean it, but they're like too <laughs> embarrassed to ask. Listen, I was so caught off guard. I did not expect any of that to happen. Because at first I was just making small talk. I was just like, oh. Because he was like, oh yeah, it's been so busy. And I was like, yeah, I bet. Oh yeah, I understand. Mm hmm Yeah. It just seems so busy tonight. But what if she still really does know who we are, though? Hmm? Oh, I don't even know. Mm -mm. Hmm? She wouldn't have had the stuff already written down. Mm. Oh, no. What do you mean? Yeah, that was already prepared, but what if she's like, wait, is that? Well, I don't want to say it and be weird, so let me just say be my friend. Mm -hmm. I doubt it, but. Even though that's not being weird, you guys. I've met so many people um, this past couple of days. We were, at, at, we were just at um, at Target, and we met a, a lady who knew who we were. Oh, yeah. Just today. And, what else? We were at. um. Oh, Easton I was Town by Center. myself. Oh, okay. I was by myself. I was at Easton Town Center with um, my cousins, and we were at Sugar. It's Sugar. It's like a, a, a that candy place or whatever. Mm -hmm. And there's a lady. It's so weird that her, her she walked in and she knew 
Well, she didn't say anything in the beginning. I had seen her, mm -hmm. and something in my mind, like, made me, like, look at her. Like, I thought something was, like, weird was happening. And then she came up to me afterwards and said she knew me. So mm -hmm. it was weird that I, I had I had looked at her already, because it looked like she was looking at me, if that makes sense. But, like, subconsciously. Yeah. In my mind. But, yeah, she was like, oh, my gosh. I watch you all the time. And, um... I was gonna, I was gonna pay for her stuff, but it was, just, it didn't work out the, that way. Why? It, because I didn't want to like just walk up. Like, if it, it would be different if I, if she was behind me in line and I, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And then I could have just said I'm gonna pay for hers too. But she was my, my, it was a uh, Kissy and Layla. I was buying them some candy, and they weren't ready yet. And she was up, she was up there ordering her or finishing or checking out or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I was just like, whatever, forget it. But Nicole, you gonna pass me that some napkins? Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I got recognized at Eastern Township too, at okay. Pink, of course, and they showed me lots of love, and it felt really good. Mm. They're like, oh, blah, blah. and none of us was around her either. No, and that's like when the whole store like turned around and was like, <laughs> oh, this is sour cream, but that's butter. But right? it was amazing. You want your sour cream, and mm. Mm -hmm. this is all you. Okay. It was amazing. I would want to go back there again, um, alone if I could, Ooh. just so that I have time to like look around and. You felt like you didn't have enough time there. I felt like we were shopping for like five minutes max, mm -hmm. and then um, we actually did. And then we early. went to eat. I felt like it was an all day thing, but it, but that wasn't counting the four hours of us driving. Mm hmm. And going to Cheesecake Factory for we were I, I swear we were at Cheesecake Factory for six hours. Very long. That time. memory is so long to me. I was just we had to wait for it first of all. We had to wait for the, the our table because we had ten people. Mm -hmm. And then we had to um um then we ate and it, everyone was doing a lot. And, mm -hmm. We were there for a long time. I feel like. And the service was hot. <laughs> no, but but no, we had a table of ten so. Yeah. It was a lot to no. Our server was amazing. Mm -hmm. You want to say that? It was nice. But there's some other things that happened that uh, got under my skin a lot. Mm. That was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm normal and quirky <laughs> and show stopping. Um, but it overall, was good. It was a good day. It was a good day yesterday. Got home. My parents stayed in Columbia. I keep saying Columbia. Columbus. And I don't know why they stayed in Columbus. And I don't know. Was there. Mm -hmm. I think they went. Mm -hmm. They stayed overnight. Booked the hotel. We ended up going home. We came home. You guys want that bread? With that bread? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys have demolished my steak, GCC family. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Didn't this time mine look really bigger thick. than yours? Yeah, yours look real thick. I didn't feel like this is a true porterhouse. Mm. I am wishing I would have got salad instead of the asparagus. Mm -hmm. That both made your salads look good. How hard it is it eating in the middle? Not hard. Um, I feel like it's so hard. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, That's probably because it's so skinny. Mm. What was I going to say? Um, this is, it's not the same after, after getting Tony's. Oh, um, yeah. I've been hired out actually in months. Yeah. But, it is getting a little cramped now. You know, Derek's getting a little weight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> He's he been said, walking up. He said it's so cramped now. He's uh, getting the pan size. <laughs> well. Have you really? No, not really. I've always was yeah. a, I was with a, um, a 26, technically, mm -hmm. like, I just said that because I, I could never could quite fit 28s, mm -hmm. they were just a little bit too big, but, you know, as you know, 20, or different sizes are different everywhere, mm -hmm. so some people I could fit 28s and some people I couldn't or whatever, I don't know. But either way. Now he's comfortably in 28. Well, I don't like to work comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> I fit 28s, but it also could just be, I think I always fit Hollis to 28s. But I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I could always fit them. But, um, 
Yeah, right, right now the ones I'm wearing are 28. <clears throat> I didn't realize your, how pricey Hollister what, prices what's, are. What's your gold weight you're trying to get to? Oh, jeans? I don't have a gold yeah. weight. Yeah. I thought like they were cheaper. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't have a gold weight, but I do have a gold look. I want to be toned and muscular, but. So you want to be like ripped? Like, what mm -hmm. do you want? I don't want to be ripped. Not ripped, because ripped is not buff. Rip is just shredded. You see the cuts. You see the lines. Buff is on some. But not even like that. I just want to look like I've, I've been to a gym before. That's it. So you want to look like me and my prime day? Um. <laughs> um. That is crazy. <laughs> Come a long way. Okay. Nicole, some is Mmm. My guess, I guess, that's what I want to look like. Mm. But we're doing, well, I ain't gonna say nothing about that. Mm. And that's Facebook exclusive. Oh, yeah. But just so remember we, to go on to Facebook, you wanna tell them about yeah, it? Yeah, make sure you guys can follow our Facebook page. Uh, we give a lot of exclusive on Facebook, a lot of personal uh, pictures that, and post personal posts that are not shared on YouTube. My mom That's the thing. Replying back. Replying backs, so yeah. Um, everything. Anyways, what was I gonna say? So, how far are you on your Christmas though? Um, um, I think I need to get one more thing, mm -hmm. and I should be good. Oh wow, that was really behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to give, this Christmas, I want to give hugs and love. No. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. Absolutely not. Okay. You know and why, and why are we not giving love and what, hugs? We can do that. I will return all your presents. <laughs> I'll no, return I all the stuff I got no, you. No, no, no. We can do love and hugs. No, but you're doing what you did for your heart. Let me do what I do for my heart. Mm, my heart, ooh, <laughs> it's changing. No, uh, it's not changing. Oh, I feel it's going through metamorphosis right now. <laughs> it's not changing your heart. It's going through metamorphosis. <laughs> and, no, I'm playing with y'all. Um, people are like, oh, down by high because you know there may be two sides to it. People obviously who, just who care about the love, you know what I mean? Well, obviously we do care about the love. We're here. The thing is, this is not just a Christmas thing. I came here to spend. We spent a, what a whole month and a half with them. You know, came here since Thanksgiving. It been posted with posted with them. So. Yeah, I still got a lot of shopping to do, but I'm doing better than usual because I feel like I last minute shop every year. And when I say last minute, I'm talking about starting the 20th through the 25th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five days, four actually, days. Actually, my first time starting early was actually last year. It wasn't super early. Yeah, because well, you did order a lot, actually. Because you had... I had to. I know I had to have started early because I had to order a lot from play, different places. Um... And last year they were on some games. They acted like it was COVID last year. And didn't you you had some stuff in Arizona and you had it shipped here? But like my that? my present was very difficult because there's got no. some Balenciagas. Yeah, the Balenciaga actually did a lot last year. <laughs> I didn't get no. This is what the issue was. I think I came here for for Thanksgiving, and like that. Before I came back to, before I went to, back to Arizona last year, if you don't, well, last year was there was no COVID during this time. So, I had to um, go back to school for like a week and a half after Thanksgiving, which was so stupid. Because I had my final exams and stuff like that, so I had to be in person for a week and a half after Thanksgiving. So, after Thanksgiving, I started ordering stuff for... Arizona because I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Arizona for a week and a half. I'm gonna order this stuff mm -hmm. there. I mean here here in Ohio, but order it for Arizona, then get all my stuff, then go come back to Arizona. I mean back to Ohio after that was confusing. After um my break. Yeah. So I ordered his, your Balenciaga it's like right before I left here for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving break. So I go back there, I'm doing my classes or whatever, and I'm not getting any information from Balenciaga at all for when they're coming. Yeah. So I'm like looking around like they need to hurry up. This is what I feel like about what my product right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Listen, <clears throat> I'm actually having an issue right now. With my product? Mm-hmm. How come my products is always the hectic ones? Mm-hmm. But I think I can get it figured all out um, in a couple of days, but... It's getting hectic. It's hectic. 
That's why I hate buying things. Like, do you guys like shopping online? No. I hate shopping online because of the fact of sizes are just, and this is not just a, a fat thing either. Back when I was skinny, I just, I hated shopping online. Well, Cause I remember I was gonna, I was gonna. Even was, if you're shopping in person, you don't know what size somebody is. No, huh? Like I'm talking about shopping for myself. Oh. Um. Yeah, I hate shopping online because of, you know, just not knowing the sizes of, uh, well, no, you know your sizes, but when they get there, it's, it's a, I ordered some stuff back when I was like 20 years old, and I ordered, went shopping, bought a whole bunch of clothes, and everything was too small. Everything. I don't <laughs> know why. Where did you get it from? I think it came from a different country. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, that's because you went on, uh, you went on Wish. Wish? <laughs> you went on Wish and ordered his shirts. <laughs> and was wondering why it was too small. Yeah, I think it was coming from China or something. I don't know. But you know they be having all the turned up European design looks. Well, and then you order it and it's hectic. Yeah. I've had... Nothing's ever too small for me. But they're mo I have the opposite issue. My stuff becoming too big. But then, it, but then it's like a thing of like, okay. Well, for me, I order online all the time because I'm always going to be the smallest size they have. Uh, guaranteed. So... I don't order a lot, I don't get a lot of clothes, or I don't like buying a lot of clothes. If I was a normal size, I think I would shop much more. But because I'm so, like, I don't want to say I think I'm so, so small, but because I'm, like, if, because I'm always going to get the small size that people have, usually yeah. they just have a small, like, if they just have a small, I probably won't get it. Yeah. But if they have an extra small, then maybe I'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's why I don't, I like things that are extra small because... I like things to be fitting to me. I, I like tight clothes, and I can't wear tight clothes if because most people don't have like extra small stuff. Yeah. Which is why one day I want to make a brand for small people. No, I said this. I said this yesterday. God, I've been thinking about this for years. Hear me? I said I, for I, big I, people. Uh -huh. We can have big and small. <laughs> we should come up. We can kill it. We can, but the thing is, I, I was uh, I was just talking about this yesterday. I want to come out with a uh, a chunky man line. You think they because the thing is is what is, what, what is the issue that you feel like you can solve by doing that I, right now? I'm currently you know, I want to be stylish mm -hmm, But but a lot of stylish big doesn't come with stylish, you know, and the thing is is um I also want stylish, but yet comfortable I need comfort That's a good thing, yeah. comfortability and I'm not gonna give out my secrets of what I plan on doing You know what I mean? Of course not <laughs> But I want to be I want Guys that have stylish comfortability, and uh, you know, and other things too. When you're buying big, it's never slim fitting either. Right. So I need something that's big but still slim fit. Right. Big for the waist, nice and uh, nice and huggy for the the legs. And oh, I wanted something that rhymed and I didn't it didn't come together. Big for the waist size. I just understand. Yeah. Hug your calves, you know, but not right. like dumb hug, you know. But so yeah, I have, I, my my issue is that. Kind of similar, but for being small, there's nothing for me that fits my size, mm -hmm. and I'm about to be 20. So it was different if I, okay, well, you just went through that awkward stage, but I know if I'm like this, there's plenty of guys out there, or mm -hmm. girls, well, well, girls you can probably find smaller stuff, but yeah. plenty of guys out there who are smaller and 23, 24, you know what I'm saying, and just yeah. my size. Like some people are just not big. They just don't ever get bigger. I'm a size 28, which is the smallest size you can buy in pants. But for guys, basically everywhere. And then also, some people's 28s are bigger than other people's 28s. But with shirts, the same thing. So if I want to buy a shirt, it's usually too, I can't get anything tight fitting at all. So then the, the logical thing was to be, oh, well, go go get kid sizes. Well, first of all, usually kid sizes are not going to, I could I can get kid size, but the kid stuff is not looking good. It's not yeah. like a good design. They don't, it, you don't look adult. I what am I gonna be going to the um to Target yeah. and getting the kid size? Yeah, so bar sauce on the car. I don't uh, know, whatever, A1. Uh what am I gonna go get the kid size stuff and Yeah. So I need smaller things with nice designs. Like I just need somebody to come out with a, a larger range. I feel like I'm really trying to get with cause there's people who what am I trying to think? Oh, th this is kind of the similar um phenomenon of, of the shades of makeup. When they used to come out with um you know, six shades of. We are back. They come. They they used to come out with like six shades of foundation, and people were like, "Okay, well, I can't even buy this brand because I'm too dark for this." And mm -hmm. then they, then now we're in the age where almost everybody, unless you want to get canceled, almost everybody has a line with 25 plus shades because you need a range between the darkest you can be all the way to the lightest you can be. But I kind of feel that for clothes, at least for me, 
obviously there's the small things, but for guys especially, I don't I, I don't think I can ever find anything that fits me. I'm always buy, yeah. buying something that, and when I do find something that fits me, I have to buy a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can never find anything. I would have a lot more stuff in my wardrobe. Yeah. I'm over here stuck at Hollister because I like their jeans, yeah. and they have stuff that's small enough for and me. And an eagle too. Right, American Eagle and stuff like that. I just feel like there's not a lot of brands that do small guy stuff. Yeah. Another I can't shop. Sorry. Too, uh, I've oh, never shopped at Nike ever. Or like any kind of Adidas champs. I can't get any of their clothes. I like this stuff a lot, yeah. but I can't wear sports clothes at all because they will. Ne they never go down in size to my size. Unless you Under Armour, I feel like they have a lot of stuff to fix um, you. I don't want to shop at Under Armour. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I need it. No, I just been like Nike. Like if I go into the uh, shoe store and they yeah. have the clothes, I've never been able to fit anything in one of those stores. Yeah, I feel like I never bought anything from like an actual champ store or a locker store because I feel like well, always, stuff looks nice. always tax in there. You know, like you want to get a jumpsuit is uh, two fifty. You know, for the whole jumpsuit. But um, what I was gonna say though is, I also I want a turned up name because you know, like Fashion Nova is turned up. You know what I mean? Uh, you know who I think snapped with their name? Fabletics. I think they snapped. That was such a clever idea. Fabulous and athletic. <laughs> I think they really snapped. So I want to I definitely turned up, uh, you know, and then like, uh, and then plus I want my, my brand to have an effect, like a Fashion Nova or a Boohoo, Boohoo brand. What does that mean? Just, it's the thing for our generation. Like uh, everybody shops there. Oh. Uh, or though, Sheen. Sheen, I haven't really. But when you get to one. stuff like that, now you're going to have to, if you think about it logistically, you can't just do it for big guys now. No, no, I, I, I was thinking like, I was gonna have to have all sizes, but we cater to the right. fluffy. Also, their prices are very low, so you'd have to compete with that as well. Right, and are you trying to do over the seas <laughs> making? Because I don't want <laughs> that's no what I think Fashion Nova is over the seas. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I don't want any entities and ch children making my stuff. Homemade, homebred, homegrown. Home grown. Well, Dang, it took you a long time to get to homegrown. I was late for it. <laughs> well, I meant homemade too. Well, no, I didn't mean homemade. You mean just American? Well, should I have Nicole and uh, Darius right. get some sewing machines? Make, and, it, uh, make it limited limited stock like Supreme. <laughs> and then you guys just go to work, start making some of these Absolutely outfits? Absolutely not. Unless <laughs> no, you're I'll paying play. me uh, $1,000 a garment. And then plus another thing is too is how, okay, even if it is like, okay, so how do I get this stuff made? Like the what I want personally. It's like, a lot. You have to go through a lot. Yeah, I feel like it's not just uh, cause I'm not just picking mean? something out. So because if I could just pick something team. else, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be coming out with this. You're myself. saying, well, well, yeah, you're gonna have to have higher design teams. You can't do that yourself. I know. You unless you you oh, can, no, you can, you're gonna meet with these people and say, okay, oh, yeah. I have an idea of I want this 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 in my jeans. I want this 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 in my oh, whatever. Bad, 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 bad. And then you guys will come up together. They'll send you these fabrics. They'll send you this. Mm -hmm. You'll curate the whole process yourself. This sounds like very. It expensive. is very hectic <laughs> and expensive. You but, gotta have that startup money immediately yeah, to do all that and hire these people and I make the you. storefront. Now, are you gonna do online first? And, oh, online definitely first. I wouldn't go do a store. I, right. Online has to go crazy. And then, uh, that's a good idea online. And then I gotta, <laughs> and then you can go start at, uh, off as like a pop up shop and see how you do, right? And then actually open up a store. Yeah, it'll probably be a while before I do a store though, because I'm thinking like Fashion Nova didn't do a store and they still have a, and they definitely probably got the money. And I'm, first. I'm sure that's a big market. And if uh, you, if they you can nail, you represent it all. No, I'm saying if you can nail, I need DJ Cali. <laughs> I don't know who that is, <laughs> DJ Khaled. You That's said DJ Khaled. <laughs> Khaled. It's I get it. Pronunciation, Khalid. Oh. That's how you, but it's, I said it faster. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? If you can nail the market of this, or clothes for bigger guys that are and all and your your main priority is comfortability and you can make it look nice yeah, that's but also be comfortable, I think that's a huge market and I can guarantee you uh there's a lot of people even watching this right now that that know yeah. someone or are, are, are that person. Us who fellas, wants. we, we want to look good, but all you ever go to the store and the mannequin, the what the mannequin has on, never looks the same on you. That's how it is for everybody. No, no, nah, I feel like skinny people are having a ball. If it's <laughs> you guys are having, I'm a not ball. having a ball at all. <laughs> But um, no, nah, yeah, I'm trying to get us us big fluffy man. So, so. well, actually, I do think that um, when it comes to designer clothes, because they're European or like or or overseas or whatever, in general, they typically make clothes for smaller guys because they just have a smaller population yeah. than America does. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's a weird medium because they don't make 
clothes that are big, nice, and comfortable. Mm -hmm. But they also don't make clothes that are on for smaller, smaller guys. And because mm -hmm. um, they probably are thinking they might, oh, there's nobody this small, or like there's the market's not big enough for these this small of people. Yeah. You know, um, and that's why we just are stuck in the middle of this, you know, paradox. But. But definitely with with if I get anything that's designer, it's all it always fits me perfectly, and I yeah. love the way it fits me. But it's because they just have a smaller uh, no 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 man, um, because it's just because they have smaller sizes normally. Yeah, so yeah, that's the struggle we're going through. That's what I'm trying. To, I was talking to my parents about this the other day, but well, it's not a struggle I'm going through. It's just something I was thinking about, had thoughts and ideas on. So let me know if you guys like the thought and idea that even though I mostly have a, a female base here, but ladies, do you guys got you a chunky man? And I'm not just talking about fat. Like I'm talking about husky, chunky, meaty, anything. He said you guys uh they have the same problem. Well, uh, tell them. We're coming out soon. But guys, this is a very long video. Nicole, where can find you at? On YouTube and Instagram, it's Nicole, of course. <laughs> She's <laughs> <so> ready. <laughs> Are you ready to leave, Nicole? <laughs> no. Every time I say this, Jerry looks at me like, because you say Because so you're quick. ready for it so fast. And I, I was just like, <clears throat> uh, I'm not. Now you messed me up. Darius, where can I find you? YouTube and Instagram. Well, <laughs> they, 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 you can, can find me on YouTube at Darius. Just my name, Darius. D-A-R-I-U-S. Or you can find me on Instagram at Darius underscore Gaskin. And where can they find you at, Nicole? And you got YouTube. some stuff in your, black stuff in your teeth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you might as well just go ahead and write <laughs> out the last couple seconds with it. On YouTube and Instagram, it's Nicole, of course. And on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, it's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. And make sure you guys go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Eddie Chunk. Chunk that is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. But Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Uh, it's showtime, the whole place hopping. Stay rocking, this for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm bay watching.